All right. So uh, let's start up how we always do with the shout outs who's listening to us and from where. Yo, if I butcher it, if I butcher your name or your city, it's the Iranian accent. Boom. Uh, Brendan Devine from Chatsworth, California, represents Millennium Pro Wrestling. Chris Tubbs from Minneapolis. Joss Olan from Kissimmee, Florida, home of Disney World. Aaron Bracamontes from El Paso. Red Hood from Tucson, Arizona. ATD Promotions from Pittsburgh. Seth Tillman from Goldsboro, North Carolina. Uh, the Hot Tub Guy from Bellflower, California. Is that the guy? Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. I've seen this guy at uh, PWG, San Diego, uh, San Diego Indies, and TJ. Super cool dude. His name's Sean. Shut Sean up. something. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Super cool dude. Uh, and uh, Okay, here's a guy called O'Connor. You might like this, D.I. This is a guy called O'Connor. He's being put on blast because he got married last week and tried to keep it a secret from their friends. <laughs> and, now they, and now they are referring to him as the Canadian piece of shit. So, uh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, I thought you would. Uh, XJ, XJ Dub X from Detroit, Rami from Victorville, California, Josue from the 956, which is, which is a Rio Grande Valley in Texas, Andrea Ronk from Columbus, Ohio, Craig Como from Sarahville, New Jersey, Sarahville. Uh, Chronic Wrestling and Gaming from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Michael Freely from Seattle, now residing in Columbia, South Carolina. Sin City Steve from Vegas. Um, Austin Lane from Newport, Arkansas, home of the Greyhounds. I think it's their high school. Yeah, they're called the Newport Greyhounds. Uh, Dr. Carl Martin from Philly, LDN Wrestling. He says he's a promoter, a UK promoter who runs oh. the biggest touring show in UK. Uh, Paul Babinsack from Pittsburgh, NWO, NWO J Dash from Bronx, New York. Okay, Orville Tutenbacher. <laughs> that doesn't sound like that's a real name. <laughs> Louisville, <laughs> is that them damn Bolins? Uh, Steven from Charlotte, North Carolina, is prompting a first responders charity show in New Jersey. There will be eight matches. Well, good luck on that. Alex Zane. Who? Versus I like saying that name sounds familiar. Versus, oh, this is one of the matches he's having in New Jersey. It's Alex Zane versus Blake Christian, and J.D. Drake will be appearing. Who? J.D. Drake. Do you know that guy? No. No, no, no clue. And this is, this is your area, New Jersey. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, get us a date in the city, and we'll shout it out again. Uh, Angel Arce, 92, from Torreon, Coahuila, Mexico. Undisputed Prayer from San Antonio. App, oh, you'll like this name. App L Bs from Queens. <laughs> Talking about Queens, did I just read that Scott Steiner shut down a Shoney's? Yeah. For COVID? His, yeah, this one that he had. Um, do you guys remember where, where, where was it? In South Carolina or? No, Georgia, I think. Georgia, it was. yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, due to COVID, he shut it down. Wow. <laughs> um, uh, Cassio from Huntsville, Alabama. Michael Ewing from Buffalo. Sarah the Rebel, who's a indie wrestler from Vegas. Do you know her, D.I.? Sarah what now? The Rebel. Mm, maybe, yeah. Who is that? Okay. Ca Cassio from Huntsville? Yeah, Huntsville, Alabama. That's probably uh, Cassio Kid, uh, Conrad's boy. He's a, he does comedy and uh, a podcast, believe it or not. So, yeah. What's up, All Cassio? Right. Uh, Max Stone from Arkansas. Sean Pooley from Pueblo, Colorado. You'll like this one. Ready, D.I.? Yeah. Dr. Sean Stasiak from Dallas, a chiropractor and wellness life coach. Wow. That is, uh, that's, that's what that he does, him. I think. Yeah. yeah. Meet. So he's, he's, he listens to our show? Yep. Oh, cool. We should get him on sometime. I always liked him. He was, yeah, a, yeah. He was a natural yeah, born thriller. He wanted thriller. to come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's get him on one time. I like him. He was, with the, say, he was with the natural born thrillers. Yeah. Right. I remember right. him going back and forth with you on commentary. When yeah, he was, he was cool because it was funny because uh, I was on the writing team when, when he was, you know, and he had just like, you know, he wasn't like of all the natural born, of all those guys, like a lot of people used to get on his work. I thought his work was fine. Right? right. But he wasn't, he was kind of more basic when all these other guys were doing a lot more stuff. Right. Right. And, uh, but he just had this ability like those other guys didn't have of just getting the crowd. I mean, he got good, he had good heat out there, you know, like, he, yeah. so I was always trying to push him because he was a good, he was a good heel, you know, yeah, like, he the other like guys, a real good, pretty boy heel. 
Yeah. Right, real good. And he always spoke, and he was kind of yeah. like the uh, of the natural born thrillers. They were kind of like thought they were all cool, and yeah. like he was the guy that thought he was cool, but he wasn't cool. But he you was know, like, kinda, yeah. but he was almost kind of like the pretty boy because if you remember, he had right. the blonde hair, like the right. dyed and yeah, yeah just looked yeah, great. Yeah, right. You know, he right. had a good build right. and stuff. Right. You know, so yeah. Aww. Right, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All those natural born thrills, like look yeah, all of them look yeah. good. I saw a picture of them the other day with the exception of Reno, who still had a great look. They were all tall, right. yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. And Stacy, it looked like what the, it looked like what you'd hope wrestlers today would look like, right? You right. know, if you had a bunch, of, if you had a bunch of guys, could you imagine if you had a bunch of guys like that that could work and like include some of the style today yeah. and everything? Like, like what a crew you'd have, you well, know? I think, bro, you and know, they, think and, about O'Hare and Jindrak, the size of those yeah. guys, but how athletic they were, you know? unbelievable, yeah. All of them. Yeah. Palumbo oh, was tall. They all, they all yeah. great athletes. They all, and they all and look good. They were all what, good looking built guys. Yeah. Right. And people say is like, oh well the wrestlers are more athletic today. So I go, bro, those those guys could do all this shit that you guys right. are doing. It's like, you know, they were six four, they, they were unbelievable athletes. Just because go watch yeah. any like Sean O'Hare, natural you know, Jindrek, go watch some of their highlights. And their highlight reel looks as good as anything today, you yeah. know? And Stasiak did good stuff after that run, because if you remember he went back to WWE during the uh-huh. invasion and they made him the butt of the joke, but he was really good at it. Like he would he would come out randomly during a rock promo and rock would duck his clothesline, punch him, throw him out of the ring and just continue like nothing had happened. You know, stuff like that. So he was good at that. 